रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम ईश्वर वल्लाह तेरो नाम सबको सम्मति दे भगवान नमस्ते आई एम प्रियंका घोषाल फ्रॉम द एन एस एस यूनिट ऑफ रामकृष्ण महतो गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट पुरुलिया रिप्रेजेंटिंग वेस्ट बंगाल टुडे इट इज विद ग्रेट प्राइड एंड ऑनर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट द फादर ऑफ आवर नेशन महात्मा गांधी मोहनदास करमचांद गांधी who had been given the title of honorific mahatma by kavi guru rabindranath tagore was born on october 2nd 1869 in porbandar gujarat he was a lawyer by profession but as we all know that we shape our destiny by making our own decisions and bapu made his decision to quit his profession and fight for the freedom and rights of indians not only in india but all over the world every decision has a back story and his back story was the discrimination that he once faced while traveling in a public transport in south africa and that too for being an indian any other person would have left that country after being so badly humiliated but gandhi ji decided to face and fight against that injustice such a courageous person he was after returning to india in 1915 he played a very prominent role in the india's freedom struggle several movements like the dandi march non cooperation movement the quit india movement were taken out under his leadership he said be the change that you wish to see in the world and that was exactly what he did with his own life he was the change bapu was not a person he is a concept the concept that paved the way to the india's independence the concept whose weapons were determination and non-violence whose only strategy was passive resistance and whose aim was to achieve sampurna swaraj mahatma gandhi is not a name he is a way of living that encourages simple and disciplined life even during the covid period most of us were leading the gandhian way of living gandhi ji's ideas of cleanliness sanitation and swaraj are led forward by our indian government in the form of several missions like the swachh bharat abhiyan the nirmal bharat abhiyan atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan adarsh gram yojana etc apart from all these things his contributions for the women poor and lower caste people are absolutely unparalleled Therefore on this auspicious occasion of Gandhi Jayanti let us remind ourselves how grateful we should be let us aspire to lead our life in a much more meaningful way and let us inspire the youth of our country to work harder for making india vishwa guru once again i would like to conclude my speech by quoting a line of gandhi ji live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever jai hind jai bharat bande mataram dhanyawad धन्यवाद